Hi guys, in today's video we are going to react to the Scuttlebutt from The Little Mermaid. Uh, in my opinion, this one is one of the worst songs that could have ever ended up in The Little Mermaid. I didn't think this would, ha would happen, but I mean, when I heard it for the first time, I thought that maybe it's going to be like something very little, very discreet somewhere. But no, it's two minutes, two minutes of basically... Uh, my life being ruined. So let's review it together. <laughs> let's get diving in. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up! What? Hey, have you not heard that scat over? No. That's suspicious. That's weird. Uh, Disney are we fetishizing birds now? I mean, we, we were fetishizing girls, we were fetishizing boys, we were whatever, but now we're going for the birds? I mean, okay, it's good to be inclusive, but still. Gossip, the buzz, the who said what, who does that, yeah, the scattlebutt. Well, I was flying over land and sea and ear to the ground. Then I came flying here for you to see and hear what I found. Remember the swamp? Remember my song in the swamp? And I was like, wham, pick up wham. I know that Cardi B had a lot of success with WAP and so on, but I didn't know that we are going we're going to merge basically that that uh, song with this song, which are completely unrelated. Not to say that basically they are rapping and whatever in a movie that is inherently supposed to well have uh, songs that have passion in them and not this kind of passion. Oh my God, bro. Oh. Hell no, man. Part of your word, well, Ursula's poor unfortunate souls. Those are songs, songs that inherently have, um, let's say, have the role of describing a feeling. Either it was for for uh, Harry, well, for Ariel, uh, describing basically longing for uh, for the for uh, living in the land and in the earth realm, or it was for Ursula to basically be that uh, sleeky uh, tradeswoman. Uh, here, we don't have any feelings, any passion, any anything. Basically, we're just announcing something and we decided to wrap it because why not? Totally unnecessary. And All around me are familiar faces. Worn it's just not okay and somehow uh, it normalizes fetishizing birds. What now? I remember. Well, ever since the what's his name, the guy with the hair in the shirt. Basically, every girl uh, after one I stand. The, <laughs> the prince. Yeah, the prince has been dropping hints. He wants to, you know, when humans dress all nice like they're penguins, throw rice for the pigeons. They're trying to blow up the pigeons. They're trying to blow up the pigeons. Guys, do you really do you really hear those those lyrics? What is this? I mean it was one thing to just to make an illusion of uh, you know fetishizing birds, but now now it's full on. <laughs> but those are just urban legends. I know a lot of really fat pigeons. Uh why? Uh, why are why are we fetishizing birds now? Is this the new trend? Is this where where the society is heading to? Well, you just listen, Sebastian. I got that scuttlebutt. Hurry up! You'll be like, what? When I drop that scuttlebutt? Okay, now how to love Buttercup? From the women who wash all the clothes Finally. to the hunter who arrows the bows, the chatter all over the palace is that your prince Eric is gonna propose. Wasn't this enough? Those this this past. 10 seconds would have been enough. Maybe, I don't know, some introductory something before, but all the, all that minute, it was a waste, a waste of time, a waste of filming, a waste of resources, to be honest. A waste of animation, a waste of everything, a waste of character, basically. Oh, what? Yeah. somebody nobody knows. They're saying he suddenly shows. Who? Who? He's selling an owl. Owl. Bet it's the kid with the new set of toes. Oh, yes. Anything goes. Who'd ever guess? Our little Ariel's marriage material type of the race 
and the dress and the what do you call it? The thing with the lips when they press. <laughs> Basically every child when they're learning about kissing. I don't have lips, I have a beak, so I guess I could give you a peck on the cheek. I don't believe it. <laughs> Say, you're awfully quiet. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what now? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Can That's you believe the that scuttlebutt? Get dressed, child. You're welcome for the scuttlebutt. We got a lot of work to do before sundown. This, 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 this well, now it's clear, guys. We're fetishizing birds. This is the new trend. A scuttlebutt. Hey. Oh, please, let this be the day. You know when you when you you prepare for a big day and you're like, please let this be the day when this happens. Please, God, let this be okay. Hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it. The gossip, the buzz, the who said but who does that? Yeah, I told you so. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta go before the sun go down. What? Gotta get ready. I know that trap has been uh, integrated in a lot of, um, you know movies and so on these days but honestly this is what's completely unnecessary and i don't know to me it's kind of offensive that we integrated rap in a movie that was supposed to be inherently about uh, longing about passion about f fight the fight with ursula and so on i mean the rap was not supposed to be in here but i guess since we're in all inclusive I uh, guess we can accept two minutes of rap. But a big show down. Right. Go ahead and get around right a and get ready for the wedding for the setting so we can't slow down the scuttlebutt. Yep, yep, Ariel. I agree with you. This is the appropriate reaction. Well, that was something. I guess uh, if I were to review it, I would give it probably a 2 out of 10 or something like that because uh, it's arguably the worst song of. The Little Mermaid, the whole movie, if not from Disney in general. 